traveling to Nyeri. Yes, I've just arrived in Odaya town near the south. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time. You are watching this video. My name is Mobid. Welcome to this channel. Subscribe, like, and share. So today started well. It was a chilly morning. It rained yesterday evening. But we thank God. So today I woke up to go to see the project that I came specifically here in Odaya, Nyeri, to oversee. It's a three bedroom bungalow which I designed. And I want to go today and see whether we can do mass concrete and finish by maybe 3 p.m. or 4. Yesterday I went there, they were doing hadiko uh, and blinding. I left before they could finish, but I hope they did. So today they have to start with the laying of the DPM, damp proof membrane, which is a polythene of 500 gauge. Then. Uh, put the BRC then we do now the mass concrete laying in readiness for block laying in two days time after keywording for one day so that's where I will be headed to today and hopefully uh, you'll see what we will have done by the end of the day. So welcome. Follow me as we see and oversee what happens. Thank you. visited nearby homes where they have houses to let three bedroom and two bedroom so come along we see how houses in Odaya look like maybe you can guess the prices they go for Ciao. Ciao. 
Bedroom two, but no wardrobes. No wardrobes. So, bathroom. What? Uh huh. So this is the bathroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hot shower. Um, the wash and basin. Let us see another one. This one is a three bedroom veranda. Oh, the sitting room was extended. Open kitchen. The master bedroom. So it has a small wardrobe there and a washroom there with the wash and basin on the outside. So
So this sitting room initially was smaller, but it was extended and the kitchen was made open kitchen. There was a, a wall here, but it was demolished. After looking at these beautiful houses, the two bedroom and three bedroom, we went back to the site and there was progress. They were preparing to do the mass concrete mix, then put it on the DPM and the BRC. So the BRC delayed, that's why you can see they had put DPM and the little BRC that we had initially on one side as we are waiting for another batch to come i'm used to in the city we buy brc the uh, big size which you come and cut on site but here is like they cut in small pieces and sell in the pieces which is weird but that's how construction work is you get what you want, you don't get what you want, regardless, you still build. So let's see what happens as the day goes along, whether they will finish early as I expected. Ghost time has gone, by now it's around 10 a.m. and they have not even started mixing the concrete.
work. The work went on well, though they started late, around uh, 10.30. But the progress went on well uh, until around, um, I think, 5. They, went, they took that time uh, because of the delaying of uh, some materials like BRC and the plumber who was coming to, to do uh, floor traps and uh, plumbing for wash and basin. But generally, uh, the work went on well until uh, this vehicle came. It was bringing blocks because now, um, after two days, we are starting blocks, block work. So these people came and it brought blocks and the unexpected happened. Look what happened. It almost fell down. It almost caused a serious accident on the ground. And this vehicle, believe you me, it stayed here until I, I think uh, uh, 10 or 10.30 uh, um, in the night and we stayed here trying to remove it from this place. We tried all means. I was tired. What are you about? Hungry. Dogo. But we had to help them come out of this place. Uh, and these things happen in construction yeah, sites, so uh, it's not peculiar. But it the problem is, okay. uh, it could have come out, was it not for the rain, because it later rained as they were offloading the, the blocks, and that's, that made it worse. Because now, uh, it couldn't come out of this position, as you can see. But it finally uh, got out of it. And we left here. By the time we reached home, it was about 11. Yo. We have finished laying the mass concrete. Now it's ready for block laying, which we'll do in two days. Tomorrow we'll just be doing kiwaring with water. Then, after tomorrow, <coughs> we do now block laying. You can see the plumber did his work. These are floor traps. Did the floor traps. So the house is a three bedroom. The house is a three bedroom bungalow. with all bedrooms and suit a sitting room and a kitchen there's no dining room initially it had only one uh, bedroom the master bedroom and suit but we changed the design to, to 
the all, all the bedrooms to be end suit. So I designed this house and I'm here to oversee its building or its construction. So the blocks are here. Yeah. 